Hi uh, guys, today's video uh, is gonna be about farming eggs. <laughs> uh, since we have the Easter event, uh, egg seekers right now, you need to farm the eggs to summon from the banner to get the moogles, the cactus, the the gill snappers. The gill snappers are uh, too many. And uh, you actually get uh, stat pots as well, which I was quite surprised. Uh, I, I got an MP pot or something just now. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how I do it, and why I do it, uh, the options that you have, and uh, some calculations that a brilliant uh, Redditor with all the math skills in the world did. I'll give credit to him later. Uh, I'm going to show you his uh, graph, uh, I mean Excel sheet. Okay, so I am grinding this dungeon because I cannot be bothered to <coughs> do explorations. Uh, explorations inherently give you more eggs, metal eggs, uh, than doing dungeons, but I cannot be fucked to do explorations because they take too much time. So I'm just doing dungeons now. And the dungeon, as you can see, uh, uh, this is a good run, is about uh, 3.8k around there, metal eggs. This is an example of a good run. I'm doing snow planes, beasts on the planes. Okay, why am I doing this? It costs 6 energy, and I get an average about 2.8 to around 3.8k metal eggs a run. Uh, another option would be uh, Magic Library, you could do Fina Psych. Uh, power on Power. This gives you more metal eggs, because uh, there are two bosses, right? Uh, but it is 9 energy. Uh, and I cannot auto it properly, so it is quite a pain for me when I want Mimu to do the work for me, uh, if you know what I mean. And I don't want to set it in a way that it does, it fucks up, so I don't do this, but you inherently get more out of this stage. Um, power on power, alright? Power on power, Phoenix Psych front lines, you get around 4.8 a run. Uh, it is a little better than this stage right here. Uh, where is it? Snow planes, beast on the planes. Okay, I'm gonna show you a run, which is really nothing special. Uh, okay, so what makes uh, grinding for metal eggs uh, much easier? Uh, Zon is essential to this because of Waylay. He steals from everyone and it's a 100% steal. Uh, th that's just amazing, man. 100% steal. It's so simple. You just have. Okay, the more Zons that you can run, uh, you can actually have a little bit of a placeable effect uh, because there is the treasure hunter on him. Uh, I don't know what it's called. But the passive, where you actually get rarer items, uh, it's just something that, you know, I feel it helps, alright, because I like to dream. I feel I get more metal eggs by running more Zons. Uh, Zon has to be level 88, max, uh, max at level 88, 6 star. You can go higher, but uh, he gets the skill at level 88, 6 star. So, uh, how do I put it this way? Uh, having more, you get more better rates. Uh, this is a placeable effect, it's not proven. Uh, it's not proven at all. So, this stage is very easy for me. Uh, but for anyone with not as geared a team, you can actually go for a lower a difficulty one, or you can actually do it manually if you're not as lazy as me. So you can just cast skills, you can clear it easy. Uh, it's a 6 energy stage, so it's not that difficult. Uh, the cost on your energy is not that uh, high. Okay, so this run you get 4.9k. Uh, this is pretty high. I think this stage is a pretty pretty uh, awesome stage to farm the event. I'm going to show you power on power, 9 energy stage.
Wei-Ling. Okay, so because there are two bosses here, it is uh, significantly tougher. If you've done the story, you should know what I mean. And in a way, I have to use Divine Ruination to actually do it quickly. I can't auto it, uh, which is a pain. So I do not like doing this. But I mean, if you uh, you cherish your energy, you want to get the most out of every single point of energy you have, you want to do explorations, uh, the higher the exploration, the better. Clear all uh, encounters that you can get, uh, meaning clear zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, whatever explorations you're doing. Um, just do whatever you can, clear everything, check the Exvius wiki uh, for the amount of gear that you should have. Uh, when you clear a zone um, Okay, let's talk about that when you clear a zone exploration means you exhaust all encounters in a specific spot Okay, so if you've not been playing for a long time you've not done the Moogle cake uh, the mock cake farming during la uh, last year's uh, Mooncake festival event uh, It is a huge pain. Okay, so this is power and power 2.6 plus 500 uh, it costs more energy. Uh, this is a bad run. Normally you can get up to about 4.8k on average. Uh, but it's all RNG guys. So in my opinion doing a lower energy uh, cost run is more efficient. So I wouldn't want to do this. Um, anyway, so uh, we have a uh, few equipments that you can craft from this event uh, the dual wheel blade with the five attack uh, can't remember off the top of my head okay anyway I'm gonna show you the excel sheet that um, the redditor what's his name Jack Mikeson did it's on reddit right now go to the subreddit and go check it out it's a calculator you can use it for yourself I will post the link in uh, the comment page, uh, the comment option area, you know, whatever. I'll put it there so you can check it out. Give your thanks to him. He did a good job with all the math and all that. Okay, so this is the Excel sheet. Go give your thanks to Jack Mikeson. All right, give all the credit to him. He did this. Uh, you can make black bandanas, cold snap, crown of justice, icy veins, second knife, stuff of rough. Okay, keep in mind you can only make one cold snap and one second knife. Second knife is the dagger with five attack with uh, innate dual wheel. If you do not have dual wheel yet, uh, it is a great item to have. Uh, cold snap is uh, something that I'm not really that interested in. Anyway, uh, calculations are there. Go check it out. Uh, I'm going to leave it on a little bit longer so you can actually see the amount of eggs that you need to craft these items. Alright, so... What you can get from the egg summons uh, with metal eggs, uh, megasite, red eggs, blue eggs, rainbow eggs, the four star gill snappers, the four star uh, gigantuas, the trust moogles for the banner units. Okay, so these trust moogles are only for the banner units, uh, meaning they're only for Zon, Freyavir, and uh, what's its name? Aiden? I think it's Aiden. Alright, so. You get Moogles from this, so in my opinion, I'm going to do the hell out of this just to get more Moogles, just to complete the TMs quickly. And uh, I think it's a good idea for you as well to actually go and do this. Okay, so I'm looking at uh, all the things, the equipment that you can craft. Staff of Wrath is uh, it's a requirement for some other things that you want to craft as well. So you need to craft a lot of that. 
black bandana is a poor man's black cow which is pretty nice it's attack plus 12 defense plus 20 it is a good item uh, just to have in your stash craft a few of those Second knife is the dual wheel dagger, uh, attack plus 5, uh, not very high attack, it just gives you uh, the ability to do attacks twice. This only applies to physical attacks or hybrid attacks, okay? Icy veins is a uh, accessory uh, with attack 18 and mag 18, so uh, it is pretty nice for Freavia which has hybrid damage. It is something that you might want to get uh, if you do not have anything better. I mean, this is the same thing for all events, right? All the equipment is not going to be the top, top tier, but they are passable. And as uh, you go by, you don't want to miss out on stuff that you could have gotten back then, right? Okay, so... Cold Snap. Cold Snap is an accessory um, that increases your attack by 15% and mag 15% when equipped with heavy armor. Okay. So when equipped with heavy armor, uh, it's a pretty decent uh, item to have, but it's an accessory. It takes up the slot, so keep that in mind. Uh, okay, let me remove this. So the amount of eggs is right there. Uh, give your credit to uh, Jack Mikeson again and again. Uh, so far I've been grinding for about a few hours and I have around uh, 255 rainbow eggs. So I think I'm almost, I can craft pretty much everything by now. I don't have enough moogles, so I need to keep going. Uh, because I am lazy, I do not wait, I do not want to wait that long for my Freyavia uh, weapons. Freyavia's needles, I think. Alright. Uh, when you... Okay, so let's explain Zon's effect. Let me find the thing that... Okay, Master Teeth. This skill right here. Boost drop rate of rare items from enemies. In my opinion, it does help you, but it could be a placeable effect, it's not proven. Uh, if you have a couple of Zons, you might want to use them when you're grinding for metal eggs. It's a good idea. I mean, if your team can handle it, uh, put more of them in. Uh, you're going to use Waylay anyway, if you are lucky enough to pull a Zon. Because it's an AoE steal with 100% success rate. Because of this trait, Bandit right here. I will do a unit review of this banner soon, but just not now. I just want to do a video about farming. Uh, when you grind the event... Um, how do I put this across? You're going to get a lot of gill snappers. And... Uh, just sell them, please. Alright. Okay, so how are you going to get the recipes? I'm going to show you. You go to the Vortex, you go to this uh, seasonal event, you go to Egg Seekers. You get in there. And you do not crash like me. I will try to do a private chaining video uh, as and when I decide that I have enough time to do one. Uh, it does not chain uh, without proper timing with Orlando. Just saying the obvious. If you watch my pool video, I did some tests right there. Um, the, the main question that everybody has is whether Freyavia is better than Orlando. In my opinion, 
Orlando is better because he's not limited to an element. Uh, he does do a holy debuff, but that does not uh, limit his attacks. So if you're going up against a mob that has ice resist, you do not want to use Fravia, but you can use Orlando even on a mob with holy resist, if you get what I mean. You're not limited in that way. But um, I've seen Fravia's stats where you have like a 900 attack and around 600 plus mag. That's pretty good for a hybrid attack user. Uh, she's very hard to gear. Okay, take it from me. She's very hard to gear because you need a lot, a lot of TMs to actually make her work properly the way that you want and unleash her full potential. And most importantly, you need uh, okay for best in slot favor. You're gonna need two of her TMs, uh, the needle, because that's just amazing, right? And she can only use swords, so it is very demanding when you're grinding TMs uh, for her. So in a way, Orlando is much easier to gear, and he is more versatile. And uh, I just feel that Fravia does not... I mean, at with best in slot items, Fravia is... She does more damage than Orlando on the, on the specific mock type that does not have ice resist, okay? This is something that will be changed, but... Orlando is more versatile, so I think it's better. Okay, so this you, you buy recipes uh, by using rainbow eggs from the innkeeper. And then you go to Zon out here to the tree. And then you buy the other recipes with rainbow eggs as well. So rainbow eggs is like a currency. All the recipes are here. You only get one crystal egg of power and crystal egg of mine. So you can craft one second knife and one uh, cold snap. All right. Okay, so we are getting enhancements soon. Uh, enhancements meaning you gotta get the stones, the enhance enhancement stones, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier fives. Uh, these stones are hard to farm. These are the bottlenecks uh, for your enhancements. Gear is not a bottleneck at all, as I said before. These stones are really hard to get. And I believe the currency that you need, I mean, I'm assuming right now, are rainbow eggs. Uh, you're going to need to use those to actually buy the stones from whichever merchant we're going to get next. Probably Freyavia or Aiden, I don't know, probably. Or some other um, some other NPC. But yeah, you're going to need to grind some eggs for those. Anyway, get into this uh, vortex and then buy all the recipes, then you can craft them. Uh, if you want to check out the calculations, the requirements needed for certain equipments, it's on Reddit. I'm going to show you the link. Give credit to Jake Mikeson again. Okay, so because I do not have enough Moogles right now, I do not have the best in slot for you so I cannot actually do a video to show you um, the most potential that uh, she has. She's a she, right? Okay, this TM is built for her. So two of those on her is going to be amazing. It's going to be so strong. I'm just messing around with her gear and stuff. But I mean, she is a good unit. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's just that she's really, really hard to gear. Alright, so to actually gear 5 Fravias, you're going to need 10 Fravias uh, for the TMs. For bested slot. Alright. Well, in, uh, in a way, Orlando is much easier to gear because the TMs have been out for a long time. Genji Blade. Uh, Fravia cannot use Katanas. So you can't use Blade Mastery on her. Uh, she does have Innate Double Hand. So you can use Double Hand. But it's much more easier to, to gear Orlando than a Fryavia. Okay. Okay, so aeroplanes are flying around. Uh, okay, so guys, if you are rushed for time, do dungeons. Uh, 
the further you are in the story, uh, I heard if it's the same as the Moogle, uh, the mock cake uh, grind, the more uh, mats you're gonna get. Okay, so try and rush your story as you can, since you're gonna be doing dungeons anyways. You're gonna get metal eggs at the same time, and you'll be pre pre prepared for the next Asper. Yeah, so catch up. And uh, I hope you guys have good luck with the polls. Uh, this banner has been pretty nice to me. Um, uh, actually, really nice to me. Uh, I didn't really have to spend much lapis this banner. So it's pretty good. But uh, I heard these units are not limited, so you have a chance to get them in the future. Uh, I mean, it's not been stated that they are limited or anything but I heard that people watch the stream or something uh, from Square Enix where they said that they were permanently in the pool so no need to rush you're gonna get these units one day if you have the luck um, yeah so I'm gonna end the video right now I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe like share uh, check out my Twitch, Twitter, follow me there when I stream. I changed my Twitch name, changed my YouTube uh, channel name. I don't want to be a whale anymore, man. Uh, I mean, as in, like, I, I want to limit my spending, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, guys. See ya.